happy Sunday to you. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing this Sunday? I'm doing well. I am tired, but I am committed. Remember that part. Tired, but committed. So, I have a sous chef today introducing to some and just saying hello to others. Grogu Simmons. Baby Yoda Simmons. Okay. Just making sure that y'all see my baby. <laughs> Let me see who's in the chat. Uh, Psalms 146. How are you doing, Ruth and George? Ruth in Georgia, GA. How are you doing, Cheryl Faulkner? Black Tropical Homestead. Peekaboo, honey. <laughs> hey, Mike, how are you doing? Cassandra, y'all are in the his house. Thank y'all for joining me today. Y'all could have been anywhere, but you chose to be with me. So, let us get to this. So, uh, if you take a look at my community tab, I shared with you uh, recipes for the sweet potato pound cake and also um, the sweet potato pie. Now, the sweet potato pie took um, uh, a long time, so I made it yesterday. But I'll share with you what I did. You know, I mean, I shared the recipe. It was very simple. I do want to let you know that when you get to a certain part of that recipe, you might be like, what in the ham sandwich is going on? But we'll talk about that. Because <laughs> I was like feeling the same way. But that's just not how I make my sweet potato pies. So, um, hey, Latanya, how are you doing? Latanya Lewis is in the his house. So um, we're going to make a sweet potato pound cake. I've been making sweet potato pound cakes for a, a, quite a long time, probably over a decade or so. But um, there are people who don't know about sweet potato pound cake. So if you don't know about sweet potato pound cake, I'm going to introduce you. And for those who do know, then, hey, this is just, um, you know, a little. Hello, how are you doing? Now. The recipe that I did not share on my community tab is the sweet potato dump cake. And you want to know why? Say why. Why? It's because I'm going to make that up on the spot while I am sitting here talking to you. Then at six o'clock, guess what we have? We have my weekly vlog. Yeah. Oh, I've been working, 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 working. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There goes Sunday. I'm going to see if he's going to come over here and grace the place with his face. Uh -uh. It's sort of like when the wife says that. That's his way of, you know, be like, come over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what, y'all? He's just not going to lie. be great. <laughs> Hey, G-Mama, what's up, son? So, um, yeah, it was kind of short for him, but, um, you know, I'm like right there. Before we get into this, let's talk about sweet potatoes. How many know that sweet potato belong to the same family as Morning Glory? My gardening community. Did you know that? I didn't know it until I looked it up. <laughs> uh, don't let Sunday see your boyfriend Grogu. <laughs> um, Mike, excuse me, Grogu is his child. I did the DNA test. Okay, mm. <laughs> but yes, it's a part of the same family as Bind We or Morning Glory. Um, as you know, who are in the gardening community, you can eat the entire um plant. The root, we use the root vegetable. Um, it's a starch, it's sweet. The top part, greens, you can eat it. I have a video on my channel. You can go and check it out on how to saute sweet potato leaves and yum, 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 yum. Hello. Now, there are um, people. This information I got was from a health website, okay? Um, but I have heard it said that sweet potatoes are more are healthier for you than white potatoes. And then when you go to the health website, then guess what they say? Both of them 
are healthy. It just depends on what you're looking for. White potatoes have potassium, which I didn't know. Peek-a-boo. And sweet potatoes have, one sweet potato have 4% uh, vitamin A. So it just depends on what you're doing. Now, <clears throat> if you are a person who has issues like with your kidney, liver, diabetes and stuff, yeah, sweet potatoes would not be the move for who? You. Hello. Because of that sugar content. And it also has another chemical and stuff that if you have high intakes of it, it messes with your kidneys and your livers, whatever. But if you want more information, guess what? Go to Google just like I did because I am not a doctor. Okay. Peek-a-boo. I just wanted to share that with you. Anyway, so I baked these sweet potatoes because I had time. Not saying that you have to. Yes, Black Tropical Homestead. Sherry, they say they always saying something, but I don't know how often do they do the research. But uh, yeah, they say <laughs> I bake these. Um, one reason you may want to bake if you're using them in a dessert like we're about to use it in is is that they are sweeter. Now, when we call it a sweet potato, we call it sweet potato for a reason. You see all of that. That's like that sugar oozing out of there. And it, and, and it smells so sweet as it was in the oven and all of that was just coming out and caramelizing. It was just pure like sugar. So I want to use um, two of those. I use like three of them in the sweet potato pie, which I'm going to let you take a little look at. Now, when I make my sweet potato pie, unlike this sweet potato pie, which is a brulee bourbon sweet potato pie. My sweet potato pie does not have that texture on the top of it like that. And I probably know why it looks like that on the top. We haven't gotten to the brulee part either, honey. It is that bourbon that was mixed with that milk. Okay. <laughs> All right. In order to do the brulee, you're going to need one of these, okay? And if you don't have that, guess what? I'll drop my Amazon link so you can get you one. <laughs> but any questions before we go deeper into this? Because we're going to jump right into the sweet potato pound cake so I can put it in the oven. You want to know what we are having for dinner in the Instapot? Mixed green. I don't know how many of you saw Sunday Backyard Farmer did a short talking about is, 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 is his wife cheating on him. Check out the short. Anyway, in that Instapot, we have some mustard, turnip, and kale greens. So I'm doing mixed green with smoked turkey. And then over to my left, your right, I have some whiting fish sitting there, doused in all kinds of seasonings. I'm going to flour it up, and then I'm going to um, fry it, or I may try doing air fry. I don't know if I feel like being too adventurous on today, so I might just take that canola oil, bam, fry it, and be over with. Now you're probably like, what starch are you having? We're not having no starch, but I'm making all this stuff right here. And guess what? Sample some of the sweet potato pie, sweet potato pound cake, and sweet potato dump cake. What we don't eat, I will be taking it to feed the homeless on Tuesday because that's what I got to do. So we're going to get into it. Are y'all ready? ATM Tim, what's going on? Um, 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 sounds delicious. That's what I'm talking about. I make sweet potato pie every Christmas. Good stuff. I love sweet potato pie. That's the only way I eat sweet potatoes. <laughs> oh, Psalms 146. Are y'all feeling better in your house? My sister, are you feeling better? All right, let's get to it. Ah, oh, yes, my sinuses feel so much better. It's just like night and day. Now, you know, I still have, you know, little issues, whatever, but it's not as bad as it was. Like I'm waking up with sinus headaches, going to bed, trying to make it through my day, straining, my eyes hurt, my head hurt. And I'm looking like, don't even say anything to me crazy. <laughs> Jesus be offense. <laughs> All right. 
so let's get to it. I am going to let you know I'm doing a shortcut. Yes, I'm better, but the little man is on his second round of it. Oh, Father God, bless her son. By your stripes, Jesus, he is healed. We pray for healing. We pray for replenishing of his body. Let it function the way that it should. In Jesus' name, amen. Everyone say amen. Hey, TLC in the garden. How are you doing? So, y'all know I have a hand sifter. I don't feel like doing this, but you should um, use something. So, I'm going to put all my dry grease in here. And, you know, if you just do it like this, it's going to sh it's going to sift it enough because I don't feel like doing that, honey. This is just not happening today. <clears throat> so, turn your oven on 350. Use whatever kind of um, pan that you use for your um, cakes. I have um, different pans, but for the purpose of this, I'm going to use my handy dandy bunt cake pan. Now, you can use butter and flour or some type of um, grease, uh, lard or Crisco or whatever, however you want to do it. I no longer do that because this right here, I promise you, it will get the job done. So, my pan. Now, make sure your pan is dry. What you don't want is water in your pan. You want to take this, do this before you get started, because once you get started, it's on and popping. This is what it should look like. I'm going to put it to the side. I'm going to actually bring you down with me. Now, <clears throat> in the larger um, bowl, I am going to do the cream, um, the, the creaming of the butter and the sugar. It's white sugar, white sugar, butter. We're going to cream that. Then we're going to add our um, sweet potatoes and vanilla. Then we're going to add one egg at a time. In our other bowl, we're going to put together all of our dry ingredients. Then we'll add that to that. And then next thing you know, we're putting it in the pan and into the oven, and it'll take an hour and 20 minutes to bake. Now, the picture that's in the community tab is one of the many sweet potato pound cakes I have made. Now, flour. Use all-purpose flour. Some people use cake flour because it is safe. When you're doing a pound cake, use all-purpose flour. For those of us who love pound cake, there's a certain texture that you're looking for when you have a pound cake. A lot of people be like, you know, my husband, they were like, oh, does he like a piece of cake? Does he like bunt cake? Uh, you know, from the from the um the chain stores that they have the little bunt cake. I'm like, no, it's spongy. He does not, he's not gonna want no spongy pound cake, bunt cake, or whatever. It's pound cake. So, you know, it has its own texture, whatever. However, if you want to use cake flour and you got a different taste bud than the rest of us pound cake lovers, then by all means, do you. But I'm going to share I'm gonna share with you how I do it. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring you down with me. Are y'all ready to get, go down? I want to be down with what you're going through. <laughs> Trying to move all this stuff out of the way. Okay, y'all. For the APF, do you have a preference in brand new? Look, <clears throat> you can use whatever flour that you want to. I, for the purpose of this, will be using great value all-purpose flour, okay? However, there's a caveat. <laughs> when I'm baking for like Christmas and Thanksgiving, I'll spend an extra dollar and I'll get white lily. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but I call myself just doing a treat. But I guarantee if you had whatever I made using great value, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference unless you already know that I told you. So therefore, you prejudice your mind and therefore your taste buds are now prejudiced. But peek a -boo. Mm -mm -mm. we are going down, people. All right. Y'all ready? Are you ready for this? Uh, 
Now, use a hand mixer. Do not use your stand up mixer. Everyone knows I have a stand up mixer. And yes, it'll be great to use it for something like this, but it'll also be a waste of time. Um, I'll use that for something else. Maybe I'll share with you before it is Thanksgiving, but let's get to this. All right. <clears throat> We're going to start off with four cups of sugar. Now remember, I keep them in this. And yeah. Now, if you are not good at measuring, <laughs> don't do what I'm doing. Measure your stuff out. But I don't care if a little extra sugar falls in there. We'll be all right. But uh, some other things, yeah, I, I don't, I don't want those in there. And I'm just measuring this out. Oops, I'm measuring this out before I put the butter in there because I'm actually going to dump this out. But I want. Four cups of sugar. Ah, auntie. Be like, Lord, make sure you have enough sugar. I'm just going to transfer this to this bowl real quick because I want to do my one cup of soft butter. I let my butter sit out overnight and I also have unsalted. Get unsalted butter because salt is added to this and you don't need both working against one another. And you don't want a salty dessert. Look at my cooking with Dorsha. <laughs> so do get that. Now, if you didn't have time to let your butter get like this, no, do not nuke it. Do not put it in the microwave. Get a glass, boil it in water, let it get hot, and then put it over on top of the stick of butter and it will soften it fast. How many people knew that? You probably knew that. All right, here we go. La 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 about pound cake is that they are very rich. Now, I'm going to do two teaspoons of vanilla, vanilla extract. And that's pure vanilla extract. Yes. Walmart. Holla at your girl. Remember these? Y'all know how much I love these. Look. Doesn't that teaspoon look big? It's not even a tablespoon. It's a teaspoon. One. Two. And we're going to do our four eggs. One at a time. And they are room temperature. Room temperature eggs. One, and let's go for it. Now, don't over um, mix when you're baking. Okay, one, two. Three. You 
see this, this um, consistency. I'm not going to use that one. It was a little crack. Oh, come on, baby. Uh oh. Look at me. What the world? All right. Four. All right. Now, take your spatula, get everything off of the side. One more gym. And you have completed a very essential part of Now, I'm going to add the sweet potato. I'm picking two. That'll be about two cups. Do whatever the recipe tells you, or you can refer, refer to me for what I'm doing. But I am going. It says like two cups of sweet potato. And to me, like one kind of like looks like a cup. You know? Y'all are like, okay, Dorsha, whatever. <laughs> now I don't want any hard pieces in there. And you should be able to mush it down. But I'm actually going to take my um, blender and um, do this first. Now, on the recipe, it'll say add this and then add the egg. And No. I mean, you can do it that way, but that's not what I'm going to do. Because I want to I wanna make sure that the sweet potato is pureed properly before I add it to all of this 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 deliciousness and ruin it. <laughs> if there are any lumps or clumps, you can correct it right here easy and then add it to that, okay? Just my recommendation. And those are just one of the things that you'll end up picking up as you, you know, you find a recipe on the internet and it's just all whatever, whatever. And then you follow it to a T and then something happens. This is to prevent that something from happening. <laughs> so now add that. Mm. Y'all, it is so sweet. <laughs> It's so sweet. Mmm. 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 Mm. Now. Mmm. 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 Delicio. There you go. Take those sides down. And we're going to move it to the side. Let me uh, 
clean this up a little bit and see what y'all are talking about. What y'all talking about? Imagine that. Sweet aroma. Hey, Moni, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us, honey. Yeah, so. I'm just giving y'all a way to make sure. Sometimes when you bake oil or boil the sweet potatoes, every now and then, you may get a little part that's hard and you do not want someone biting into it and be like, so, you know, once you get used to the consistency of something, unless you're expecting it, and then you're just like, oh, yeah, there go another nice, yeah, but yeah, we're not expecting it, so. Let me rinse this out real quick. All right. What did I miss? Nice. What's nice, Mike? <laughs> okay. Now, let's get to the next part of our sweet potato pound cake. We need flour. We need leavening agents, which in this case will be baking soda and baking powder and salt. And then we need our spices, the trinity that I always talk about. Cinnamon, nutmeg, and ground cloves. Now, I do want to let you know that some recipes on the internet do not have ground cloves in their sweet potato pound cake. Listen to your girl. Put you some ground cloves in your sweet potato. <laughs> Put you some ground cloves, honey. <laughs> uh, now, if you have some other, you know, taste buds and you're just like, okay, yeah, I like all of that. Guess what? You can also put some ground ginger. You can put some allspice. You know what I'm saying? You can, you know, we can make it as nice and, you know, you want, you want to get it. Now, for those who like nuts, after we mix these two together, then you can put your nuts in there. But I don't want nuts. <laughs> So, now, let's get to it. We need four cups of flour. Mm. Any flour that you want. Matter of fact, you don't know what flour is in here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just told you great value. But I have a big bag of, um, you know, the other, the other brand in there. So, that'll be going in here next. All right. Four cups. Let's go down. I want to, okay, who said something about the consistency? Yes. Um, you know, hit turbo button. Yes. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. All right. Now, once again, if you want to be a little more precise, don't do what I'm doing. I'm eyeing it. One. <laughs> like I said, but guess what? Oh, you know what, y'all? I need one more ball. Hold on one second. I, 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 right here. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Let me finish what I was doing. And three. And four, but because I had some that did a little something, something. Now, we're going to take this. We're going to put that right there. And now I'm going to do it again. One. Two. Three. Uh-oh. People, I think we had it. Ooh. Yep. Four. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's measure. Two teaspoons of bacon powder. Where's my teaspoon? 
you can use whatever baking powder you want to use. It is really like no big deal. Hey, diversity love. How are you doing? Hi, Bar. Hey, J3GS. How are you doing? Use whichever one you want to. But do level this. Don't play games with your Lebanon agents, okay? A half a teaspoon of baking soda. This thing is so fancy. Whatever baking soda, it really doesn't make a difference. But make sure you, you level it. <clears throat> One fourth teaspoon of salt. Just regular old salt, not pink salt, not kosher salt, just regular old salt. Salt. We're going to do two teaspoons of cinnamon. Some recipes will say one. I like a more robust flavor. I actually had to go and get cinnamon today after church because guess who was all out of cinnamon, honey? Yes, I love cinnamon. Ha! Ah, one. <laughs> and two. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg, which, you know, I got to work with my nutmeg because I do have some round pieces. So let me get it out and flatten it. Ooh, as soon as you break one of them little balls, it's just so robust. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And no, I would not put this much nutmeg. Nutmeg is very potent. So a half a teaspoon is good enough. You see that? Now I can put the rest in here. Ooh, it is kicking. It is on and popping. And let's do a half a teaspoon of brown cloves. Ooh, honey, this stuff is strong. All right, people. I'm going to get a A butter knife. Now, if I had my sifter, <laughs> all of this would be going in there, but it's not. So, that bowl that I started out with, which is bigger than that, I can just dump that in there. Look. I know y'all like, Dorsha, why don't you just use your sifter? Mm -mm. I learned a trick, huh? I am not going back. That thing hurt my hands. Do you see this? Do you see this, people? And you're like, oh, something on the counter. It's okay. Remember, the flower part was like, yeah, a little more. And then we caught all those little balls, okay? Now. Woo. Ah. And don't worry. Make sure you're on, make sure that your your environment is clean. Woo. Honey, that is so much better than me sitting there with that hand sister. And it smells so good. Can y'all smell this? Smell. Smell vision. <laughs> now I'm going to wipe this, get this out of my workspace. And we're going to finish up our pound cake. You're actually going to add this flour mixture to this, okay? 
that's why we started with the big um that's why we started with this big bowl. What the eyes for G Mama? What you talking about, G Mama? <laughs> All right. So Woo, honey. I do want to warn you. Have a big bowl because once you add this, honey, it is a lot. So maybe like one third and now blend. But do it on low. Add a little bit more. A little bit more. Now, make sure you have a good hand mixer because this will get very thick. Just like town cake there. More. Go around the side and make sure that you hit the bottom. And it is thick. And it should be thick. And it should not be able to just, you know, it shouldn't be runny. But make sure you have everything mixed at the bottom. And now you put it into your pan, which at this moment, I need Sunday to come over here and assist me. And normally I'll have a sous chef with me. And I recommend you have one too. Come on Sunday. Make sure I can get this for y'all in the spring. Okay, so I just need you to turn the pan lightly as I pour the batter in there. Hold on one second. We're down to the final stretch. Okay, Sunday. Over to the other side. This side. Oh, and I know I said it before. I'm going to say it again. 
after you before you put it in here, if you are a nut lover and you want nuts in your cake, that would have been the time to put it in there. So mm, 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 mm. now Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in. Hey, girl, can sing. Say some chocolate. <laughs> That is from movie coming to America. <laughs> no, it's nothing sexual about it. So there you have it. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven on the top rack for an hour and 20 minutes. I'm gonna do an hour and 15, then I'm gonna check it. And then five minutes. I'll put it in the <laughs> Hey, Brenda, how are you doing? Don't tell me that her mm, mm, raw egg and, mm, and some bad is going to happen because mm, it is so good. <laughs> mm. Oh, my. Mm. Okay. And this is gonna make me sing. Now, you know good and well. If I was a child, I've got. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's so delicious. But uh, run. Any questions? <laughs> Any questions? What y'all got going on in the chat? Come to the chat if you're watching this, because the chat. Is where is that? How many of you are ready to brulee? Yes, let's get to it. Or do you want me to hurry up and do the dump cake for you? <laughs> As you know, my weekly vlog um, premieres in 15 minutes. The dump cake. What do you want me to do? Ruth, I thought you was already in here. Hey, Kay Renee, how are you doing? Cooking in the kitchen, jumping up and down. Mm, mm, mm. Hey. Oh, anyway. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> let's do this dump cake since it cooks at um, 350 for an hour, then there can be some overlap. I need this bowl. Mmm! Mitsubishi Chevrolet. Mitsubishi Chevrolet. Mmm. Okay, y'all. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right. Sunday, can you do a commercial break for me? The husband's doing a commercial break as I set up for the dump cake. What's going on, guys? I'm on. Um, I don't know if y'all can see me. I got my bonnet on today. I can't. I'm trying to see the chat from a distance. Can y'all hear me? Y'all should be able to. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So what y'all been up to? I'm in your way. Mm -mm. What y'all been up to? Appreciate that, K. Renee. 
okay. Everybody can hear me. So, yeah, I'm just taking up some time because everything the light touches is our kingdom. <laughs> Lion King. <laughs> Yeah, I was outside trying to get some stuff situated in the garden. I think I may um I think I may drop a video, a short video tonight or whatever on that. Other than that, that's about it. Just oh. And uh I've been having some aphids. I've been paying attention. So my wife got some Brussels sprouts that are doing pretty decent. And I didn't have my Brussels sprouts in the ground for probably about a month, probably longer than a month. And her stuff is starting to outgrow mine. So I was like, oh, I'm like, she, um, you know, my wife, she attend to her garden. She a 5'11 shawty after about, um, you know, seven days, or ten, seven to ten, once a week, really. Uh, she do 5'11. Uh, I just, you know, I kind of set it and forget it for the most part. But I started paying attention when I was out there. Um, I have a lot of um, aphids. So I started paying attention. She had some on hers and her other bed, too. I just knocked them off and, um, you know, put some neem oil on it. I hit it with the water hose first to put some neem oil on there. So I pulled one of them out the ground and looked at it close. So the aphids are preventing the new growth from opening up and from the plant basically growing. So it's basically stunning its growth. I know this is, uh, I'm talking about cooking now, but that's just what I got to add to the <laughs> Add to the conversation. Um, anybody saying anything else? This thing is. I look sleepy. I'm tired too. That's powers of a woman's touch. I hear your songs. <laughs> woman, a woman. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Kay, you said it was 47 degrees. Where you at? Kay, where you at? If you don't mind me asking. I don't know if that's personal, too personal or not. Yep, I put some dish soap. Um, Dorsha actually got some orange oil that she made probably like a year and a half ago. Huh? Oh, a year ago. Do I know where your orange oil is? No, I don't. I don't want to use it. It's yours. Oh. Yeah, you made that for you. I ain't nothing to do with me. I just use a garden hose and pressure, water pressure. <laughs> Not the way it's right on off there. <laughs> um, Barb said it's uh, it's in the thirties where they at. Man, it feel like it's it feel like it's about thirty two degrees outside now. Yeah. To be real with you, it's um, cause I got this hoodie on, but I ain't got really nothing else on up under here. I ain't layered up like I usually be. But I knew it was cold when my feet was cold with the with the type of shoes I was wearing. So that's how I knew it was cold. What's going on, Mona? Sifting some soil. But yeah, that was my rant about the backyard. Just, um, yeah, I just paid closer attention and all my stuff that's really not growing as fast as it needs to be or on the right level had some aphid problems. I knew a certain area that had some problems that I was tended to, but it was another area that I just didn't even pay no attention to. So got to get up close and personal. All right, y'all. We're about to do it. <laughs> oh, no, it's my show now. I have nine minutes before it's my show. <laughs> before my... Hey, y'all, I'm going to bring y'all down. So we have two sweet potatoes that I'm getting ready to mix. Okay, oh, Callie. Okay, is that Callie? Uh oh. What did I do? Great. I'm going to add some cinnamon. 
Nutmeg. Remember, we're making this up as we go along. Ground cloves, a little bit. A little bit of vanilla extract. Wheat and condensed milk. And we're going to mix. A little bit more sweet and condensed milk. Now, because I only had two um, potatoes left, our dump cake will go in an eight, a eight by eight. So put it in there, this mixture that you just made. Now you can make it even sweeter, but the sweetened condensed milk for me did it. Put that. Now, if you are a nut lover, some crushed um, pecans or walnut. You probably could go like right on here. Get you some um, vanilla cake mix. I won't use this whole thing because this is only half the size. But for those who are familiar with dump cakes, you're going to put some, some type of cake mix on top. Now, another um, cake mix that you could put on top of this could be um, a pecan, butter pecan. Now, you take butter and you melt it and then you pour the butter on top of this. And then you put it in the oven, 350 for an hour, and voila. You can also um, add apple to it as well and add caramel. So that will be the final piece for this. I'm going to melt butter, pour it on top of here, and then I'm going to put it in the oven for 350. Now... <laughs> But because we're on the time crunch, we're moving right along. I have some cane sugar and some white sugar. And I'm going to mix them half and half, basically. Although y'all know I'm going to eye it, right? Just being honest. <laughs> and I'm going to sprinkle them on the top of this pie. One, two, that was two teaspoons. So y'all can see what I'm doing. Oh, sugar and raw. Do three of that one. I'm gonna mix it. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to keep it even. Two, two, and then two, two. It's supposed to be like one-fourth cup, but I didn't know whether or not you really needed it, but I see that we probably did. If you don't know what we're about to do, we're about to brulee 
this sweet potato bourbon, brulee bourbon sweet potato pie. Now, see, I am not, and I repeat, I am not turning this around. I don't want my hand anywhere near these flames, okay? Start saying. And it's going to cool. And then when it cools, it's going to have a little. And I'm not going to touch it right now. Because right here, you can put your hand right here, and it is hot, okay? <laughs> and uh, there you go. It looks like so much fun. It is dangerous. So, right now, we're going to end this live. Join me as I premiere my weekly blog, and I will see y'all on Wednesday. Love, hugs, and kisses. Thank y'all for joining me. And uh, I'll see you at my weekly blog, the premiere of my weekly blog. So I hope you join me. If not, thank you for joining. And remember, there's two recipes on my community tab. Sweet potato pound cake and the brulee bourbon sweet potato pie. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.